The controversy revolves around the Youth Detention Center, which was scheduled to close at the beginning of March, but now will remain open until another facility is built. We need to prioritize our children, those currently at the facility and the few that we expect to end up in the replacement facility in the future. Flanked by supporters, he New Hampshire's today, child advocate says House Bill 49, which they are seeking to amend, would in its current form do more harm than good. House Bill 49, as passed by House Finance, has potential to undermine the children's system of care, undo the progress of Senate Bill 94, and send more children to programs out of state. Senate Bill 94, which is now law, promotes earlier intervention with the goal of reducing juvenile involvement with the justice system. Among those in attendance at Wednesday's press conference, the legislator who will be offering the floor amendment in the House. He says that current bill has a number of flaws, including using national statistics to guide policy. Our approach to the juvenile justice system is, is, is the model for the nation. We should not be looking at other states to use their benchmarks because they're doing it wrong. If the amendment fails. So if it ends up being killed, we are we're in a really difficult place because now what do we do? We will find out in a few hours if the lobbying efforts were successful. The House is scheduled to take up the bill this afternoon. Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.